bottom of the line. <laughs> Could be a big school shark or a gummy shark or even a monster stripe. World record stripey. That'd be great. I reckon it's looking pretty sharky at this point. Yeah. He's fighting. He's having a bit of a break. So am I. <laughs> Come on! Get him up! Nick has outdone me today. Good morning Wallaby Dick and welcome to another episode of Tazcast Flooding Adventures. We're trying to get to Muscle Row Bay this morning and we've just got to check if we can cross this section of water. I'm here with brother Nick today and I'll tell you what, it's a bit sketchy. It's all good? Righto. Let's cross this river and hopefully we can get on the water. I reckon there's going to be a lot of uh, fresh water in the river that we're trying to launch from. So fingers crossed, it doesn't affect the fishing too much, but we're out for a jig. We might get out wide to the shelf. We'll see how we go. We made it across. A bit cold. <laughs> so today we're launching from Muscle Row Bay. I've just got the drone up to scout out our channel to see our direction on the way out. I have launched here once before, and I think I remember the route, but there are some gnarly rocks. We've pretty much got to dodge a couple and then uh, hug the bank on the way out, and then it's a bit of a right-hand turn. So if you are coming down here, try to get some local knowledge on tide times and also the route to take out. Uh, it's very important. Muscle Row Bay is located, would you say north east? One of the most northeastern towns for this area, I would say. You beauty. So we're in the northeast of Tasmania. It's a, a beautiful still morning. We're looking at about four or five knots of wind, 1.2 meter swell on a seven or eight seconds. So we should be fine there. The yellow fin will handle it. And I think without further ado, it's probably time for us to get out and about. And hopefully we can find some stripey on the jigs, which is always so much fun. We've just arrived at the mark for this morning. Now, every time that I get to a mark, I just stay static, read the drift so you can mark your fish and then float onto them. It's very basic, but by taking the time to actually do that, it gives you more time in the water on each drift, which results in more opportunity. Nick's rigging up on bait this morning, and I'm gonna hit a 120 gram jig. So, I found some nice marks here. I'm going to get my drift onto them and we'll get into it. What have we got? I think that, oh, that's a stripey. That is a nice big moe too. Hey, 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 Nicky boy. Look at that drag go. Look at the drag. <laughs> Better let him wear himself out a little bit, I think. Yes, Nicholas. Keep it nice and tight. I'm gonna get this bigger camera and I'm gonna film you because this is what we're here for. Yeah. This is our bycatch for today. They're actually really good eating fish. The jackass morwong. Jackass morwong is our bycatch alongside ocean perch today. So that's what we don't want to catch. <laughs> but we'll eat them anyway. That's a nice stripe, Nick. Nice stripe. That's a nice stripey. Woo, first one of the morning. We're on the board, boys. Well done. Legal size for the stripey that we are chasing is, as always, 55 centimeters. And as mentioned before, we've got about 14 more days of this. And then, it's season closure. We are on. We are on for the morning. How awesome. We do have a seal over here, so we might have to get some decoys, but that's our first stripey for the morning. Nice one, Nick. Yeah, happy did you that. enjoy? Did you enjoy the fight? I did. My we better be happy. <laughs> we better measure him just in case, because 55 is what we're after. Yeah. And he's 63, 64. Yep. So well done. We're on the board, we're and she's board. going in the bin. Oh. 
Oh, that's a stripey. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can't get anything on it. Oh. Wow, he's a big one. Oh my gosh. What I've been doing lately is I'm slowly dropping it onto them when I feel like I'm in the zone. And they kind of, the line goes slack as I leave it down. Oh, doubles! Doubles! Better mark this. Nick's. Oh, I didn't know that was a Oh, Bill's got it. Do you reckon? Yeah. Why? What? Oh, right. Okay, just go easy on it. That's good. No, no it's good, Nick. Keep him there and just keep him occupied because I want to get this stripey up. Okay, come on. I'm going to go hard on the... Oh, God. I'm going to come with you there. No, no, you're right. He's a big one. He's huge. Yeah, buddy. Yes, that's a donkey. That is a donkey. Well, I found my first stripey. A bit of an escapade. Nick's accidentally... Um, caught up to a seal so we're going to have to hold on to some decoy fish on the way up but I found this stripey slow feed down to him on 120 grams it's a nomad they work quite well for these species and a abundance of other species as well so I'm very happy because I'm on the board and we can keep marking up and keep catching so the rigs that we're using are sea breeze tackle and they definitely do the trick great for bait circle hooks so you can set without having to yank too hard or you just let them take it. But uh, definitely investigate getting some of these for your uh, your arsenal. So I'm just tying an FG knot to then get onto our stripey rig. I like to have a little bit of tension on my FGs when I'm tying them and then I can just plait it pretty quick. Then I'll just half hitch it off twice and then burn it back a little bit with the lighter. I'm onto 100 pounds so then I can just tie that straight onto my stripey rig. Nice and easy, probably takes about two or three minutes. I haven't quite nailed the uh, the other version you can do with the tension, uh, just on your hands. So I'm gonna keep plating, and then we can get back down. There he is. Oh yeah, they're thick at the moment, Nick. Here's another one. buddy you got one come on come on again that was just on that slow drop to him 120 is crushing it this morning to get that motor in reverse a bit. <sighs> this is what it's all about. Gotta love fighting these stripey. one's probably not quite as big as the first still a bit of size so the rod combo that I'm using is an Ocean's Legacy PE2 with a Daiwa Saltig and it's doing very well I need some reverse Nick when you've got a second and the net Thank you. I reckon this one might just be legal. He's a nice one. I'm going to treat him with some respect here just in case. Another beautiful specimen on the jig. How about it? Good job, Tim. Yeah. 
Now guys, if you are enjoying this episode, I am focusing more on trying to give you tips so you can get out there and have as much fun as we're having. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tim's fishing tips. Tim's fish and chips, fish and tricks. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see if we can get some more. Eight of these are our bag limit. As I mentioned, 55 centimeters. So yeah, let's get back into them. There's another one. Oh, what is that? He hasn't woken up, whatever this one is. This might be a uh, calamari, I think. Down that deep. Yeah. At least we'll have some more bait. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I reckon it's a squid, the way it's sitting, or it could just be a foul-hooked ocean perch. Here he is. And I was right on the squid. Nice big arrowhead. We will take him for bait. Perfect. I'm gonna aim him away. But yeah, there you go. Little squid on the jig. Pretty interesting. I'm not kidding when I say I think you can catch nearly every species on a jig. I've caught a crayfish, I've caught squid. And that's going to make for some nice fresh bait, especially those flaps. We like the flaps. How cool. That's a stripey. Oh yes, there he is. Oh. Yeah. Oh god. Yep, 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 yep. Oh gosh. Jolly, jolly gosh. You're coming up, mate. Sorry. Ooh, it's woken up a bit. Not as big. You wanna, oh, uh, you right? Yes. Come on, where's the doubles, Nick? Where are the double hookups? Oh, he's size. Oh. Nope. Oh my gosh, that is so lucky. Oh my gosh, I dropped him and he fell into the net. Oh, no, no, no. Good job. Oh. <laughs> this one is going 61. So he's coming home. The 120 gram in 74 meters of water is here. Check out the bow in my jig now. I can't believe that and something has just been shredding it apart down there, but that's just wild. It's completely bent.
Monty, doubles, double trouble. Twins and twins. Woo! Woo! Thank you, boy! On the stripes. All right, there's some bites again up from the bottom and hooked up. Just like that. Oh, it's a better one. Just let it sit there and load up. Yes, Nick. The boys are on doubles. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Oh. You're right. Mine's got some grunt. This one's big. This is my last stripey I can keep for the day. Yeah, mine's pretty horsey. Mine's big. All right, I might try and land this. Then I'll come over. No, not that way. Oh, that's a big boy. Yes, that is a big boy. That's another big thumper on the 120 with a little bit of fresh squid. And my jig is actually bent. I can see a bow in it. These guys have been attacking it as soon as it gets to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. hold him up. Nice one. Yes. Now, what have we got for measures? 65, 65. Hold it up to the camera and say it up here. 65. And this one is 72. Sorry, brother. Oh. 72. Oh, Captain deserves the best fish, doesn't he? And that's my bag. Just like that, I'm done. I cannot catch any more unless I'm releasing, which I'll start doing. Oh, I bought a pen with him. <laughs> That's a bit of weight on that one. Watch that sinker if you want to lift it up. Yeah. Another lovely size stripey. Oh, he's too heavy. <laughs> Beautiful size on the sea breeze tackle. Look at that. He's lovely. How was the fight? How was the take? Good. 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 Yeah. What's the What's the size on this one? I reckon he'd be at least eighty or seventy-five-ish. Nah, seven. Not seventy-five. What is he? Sixty. Seventy, maybe just. Yeah. Nice. Well done. So, uh, at present we can catch one more stripey and then we're done for the day and we've got to establish our next move. <laughs> Could be a big school shark or a gummy shark or even a monster stripe. World record stripey. That'd be great. I reckon it's looking pretty sharky at this point. Yeah. He's fighting. He's having a bit of a break. 
So am I. <laughs> Come on! Get him up! Oh no, it's double stripey! Is it? You've got double stripes! Uh, Wait, hold, is that triple stripes? You've got triple stripies! You've got triple stripes! <laughs> oh my gosh, look how big they are, man! Nick has done it. Three stripies on one rig. He's tangled up. Tangled up. It's all happening in the boat. I can't believe that. Three stripies on one rig. Sea breeze tackle. Thank you very much. And what an episode. Let's get these guys back in the water. That's We're 70, done here. 75. 75? Yeah. 75. Back in the drink. Nice swim. He'll be fine. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Oh, that's, that's epic. Good, that's a good feeling, putting a fish back. Yeah. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. I have a couple of fresh new Tazcar stickers to give away. So if you're interested, comment down below where you would slap your sticker. And I'm going to pick 10 commenters and I'm gonna send them off personally to them. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap for us today. See you later Wallaby Dick and thanks for watching.